So today we're going to be talking, uh, we're going to be starting a new series on my YouTube channel, um, which is about how to write faster. I know I've been with NaNoWriMo this year, I wrote 100,000 words in about a two week period. And for a lot of people asked me or said, made comments about how fast I write. Some people asked me how I do it and stuff like that. And there's a lot of different tips and tricks that you can actually use to help you write faster. So basically the gist of it is I wanted to um, so basically what I wanted to do is actually just break down everything that kind of compiles together to help you actually write faster so that other people can learn how to do it too. Um, for me, it's mostly, it comes kind of natural, but there are tips and tricks that you can do to actually help you write faster and write more. Um, this is going to be a, a series, and so we're going to have multiple parts to this series, and I hope that you guys really enjoy this. So today we're going to get into part one of how to write faster which is making time alone for yourself and setting up your writing nook. We're going to get into an exciting video today and I hope that you enjoy. So the first part of this is making sure that you can set time alone for yourself. I know I can get easily distracted um, if I have my cell phone with me. I'll be checking notifications, I'll be checking messages, and then I'll start chatting with people back and forth on Facebook Messenger, and I basically don't get anything done. If it's there, I'll start maybe watching YouTube videos, or, you know, I don't really scroll through social media so much, so much, but that might be a problem for you as well. Um, I have a husky puppy as well, and he gets really hyper. Um, um, now, some you, most of the time nowadays, he actually sleeps in the time that I'm writing, but I do have instances where he um, is active or doing stuff, and I'll have to get up and down and getting on to him and watching him and stuff like that, and that distracts me. Um, you know, having my family members come into the room can distract me because I'm the kind of person I have to write alone, complete silence, with no distractions at all. So these things, I know that I need to be alone. I need, I know that I need my phone away from me so that I don't have the urge. If it's sitting next to me, I'll pick it up and I'll play with it and I won't get any writing done. And for the million word challenge this year, I kind of set these internal rules in myself and started following them so that I wasn't distracted. So the first key is making sure that you're alone and removing all distractions. It can be anything. Whatever distractions you get rid of it while you're writing dedicate a time in your um, schedule dead just for writing um, and when you dedicate this time make sure obviously it's okay with your friends your family and it fits your schedule if it's your work schedule or your school schedule whatever it is you have to do you know work around that but this time period whether it's 10 minutes whether it's a half an hour whether it's an hour or five hours whatever that time period is make sure it's only for writing, remove distractions, get rid of everything. And so the next part of this is making sure that you're alone. And that kind of includes getting your writing nook set up and find a, a space that you use, whether it's a desk, a table, the couch, the a chair, you know, a plush chair, whatever it is, um, get your writing nook set up and, and make sure that it's set up in a place that you can feel comfortable writing. For me, I don't deal with change very well, so if my writing nook moves, it'll take me days before I get back into the flow and can start writing again. Um, and now that I have a nook set up, once I have it, I want to leave it there. And I've had nooks before, and for me, I need to feel confined, I need to feel trapped alone and cozy. I don't know why, but it just helps me get in the zone. It makes me feel more alone and isolated. And the more isolated I am, the faster I can write. And it may be different for you. Maybe you need to feel open. Maybe you need to feel, maybe you need a lot of light. Maybe you write better outside or inside, but find the space that works best for you. You know, you can try out a few different places and set things up into different places as much as you can um, and just figure out what works best for you. So um, I'm going to show you my personal writing nook um, and kind of talk you through what works for me. Again, everybody's different. Every writer is different, but this can kind of give you guys some tricks. I'm a messy person, by the way, so just a really quick disclaimer. Um, I'm an organized mess. It's a mess, but I know where everything's at, and so I don't like people messing with my space. This is my writing nook. This is you leave it alone, basically, and everybody knows this um, in my family, and they know if one little thing's out of place, it really, really gets to my OCD, so it may be messy, so beware, but I know... So this is my little writing nook. It's a very isolated. It's in the little corner here. So in between both of our windows. 
So I'm gonna start on the left side and work my way through this chaotic mess over here. So essentially, so on this side, as you can see, I've always got my Bible with me. Sometimes I need that for biblical fiction. Other times this is literally like my space. So I always have a Bible handy. Um, now following these are notes. This is my book, Immortal. It's one of the Valiant books and it's printed here. And I've got the script, all my script notes for it. I've got my script writing techniques book here and stuff like that. So these are different folders. Each folder is a different um, book that I'm writing or have written or book series. And this has all my notes in it because not all my notes are on my computer. So I do have handwritten notes for different things here. Um, so behind here, you're gonna find all my historical novels and notes. Um, these are literally all history books and books that I stole from my sister. This is a fictional, um, these two are fictional books. That, this is a nonfiction Christian book here. This is a book that I won. That's a flashlight. It's not supposed to be here. But this is just a fictional book that I won in a contest that I'm planning to read. Again, a history book. Um, more fictional books here. Um, here and here. Um, I have my hand my wrist hand package because I don't want to lose it. I'm actually looking for a second one. Um, and this is again another wrist thing that I use. And this is the main one that I use here and it sits right here next to where my laptop is. I keep this one nearby in case I need it. Um, and underneath here we have more notebooks and notes. Um, this is a wildlife experience book and this I use to look up animals. Um, I built use that for cultures, for creatures, different things like that. And again we've got more notebooks and notes underneath here. So. This is a bit of a mess. Um, this is my to-do list for next year. This is all the books I need to write and the books that I need to outline. Um, next underneath that is one of my planners and a uh, book about space which I use for galaxy building for the Republic Chronicles. Um, this notebook has my to-do list. This is like today's to-do list and this is you know the rest of November's to-do list. Um, I have my earphones sitting here because I use that to listen to music on my laptop. Um, and I have my main pin holder sitting here, another one, a second one sitting behind there with my CDs just because I have nowhere else to put them. Underneath here is my calendar that I use to schedule out my YouTube videos and below that is another calendar that I use for um, posts on occasion. And that's an old mouse I haven't gotten rid of. Um, of course, here's a mouse. These are my very important notes, like if I'm messing with word count. Um, this was runes that I drew. Um, it was notes for, usually this notebook has story notes in it that are like more immediate important that I need to instantly get to. In Champion of Lies, everybody has a rune that gives them magical power and I need to, I wanted to know what these runes looked like. So I used this technique that I found on Pinterest and made these different runes for different characters and wrote them down. Um, these are my index cards. These are the ones that I've already filled out. Um, for some reason, sometimes instead of sticky notes, I prefer to use index cards and I leave them scattered everywhere. As you can see, I have tons of random notes here. So this is the where my empty ones are and I just, I'll grab one out, write something down real quick and then put it over here. <laughs> so, so that is my writing nook. Um, it, your writing area will be very personal to you and it's just whatever makes you comfortable. Like I said, if it's at a couch, it's at a couch or a chair or if it's an actual desk. Mine is just an old table that my grandparents used to use for uh, family gatherings a long time ago and one Thanksgiving we had it here at our house. They left it here and never, um, we never got, gave it back. You know, they never wanted it back and eventually it just became the area where I would write and we moved it around. It used to be in the living room and but now it's like in the dining area where we, because we dine elsewhere. And um, it's just in that little corner and it's just my space and it's become my table and my writing nook. So um, you want your writing nook to reflect you and to make you comfortable and cozy. That is the most important thing, like whatever makes you comfortable because you'll write faster if you're if you feel comfortable. For me, if I don't feel comfortable where I'm writing, like I can't concentrate on the scene. That's why I'm not the kind of writer that can just take a laptop, go sit in a cafe and start writing. There's too many distractions. There's too many things. I don't like people being around me when I'm writing. So for me, that's like a horror story waiting to happen. Um, but maybe that is where you write. You know, maybe you don't need a specific place or a writing nook, but just find a place where you can be isolated at least um, without distractions because that'll help you write faster because a lot of the reason why writers don't write fast is because we easily get distracted or we procrastinate. For writers, if 
we're not very distracted, then usually we find reasons to procrastinate. So you'll be on your computer or your phone will be nearby and you'll start doing other things on your own rather than allowing them to distract you rather than writing. Um, so, you know, shut off your internet if that helps you. If you're one to kind of just sit and scroll on social media or get on YouTube by accident, um, try shutting your internet off and leaving your phone away and shutting your internet off so you can't get on the internet on your computer um, to keep distractions away. So this was part one in how to write faster, which is finding your author space and setting up your writing nook and making sure that you're alone. Um, I hope that these tips really helped you and that as you, as you apply these tips to yourself when you write, hopefully it can help you start writing faster. This is just part one. We've got lots of other advice coming, at least four or five videos, maybe even six coming um, for a while to kind of help other people, to help all of you guys learn how to write faster. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and please um, subscribe for more writing videos and be sure to share this video with your writing friends and you know stuff so that other people, other writers can learn how to write fast too. So thanks.